This is your friendly ex-Muslim. Most of us are straight. We don't have to worry about being in a relationship, holding hands, giving a peck on the cheek or kissing a loved one in public or showing a love in any way. We are privileged enough to not have to worry about coming out or getting married. Imagine you were gay. If you were in the West, chances are you would still be okay here. In most cases, at worst, you might get a dirty look or some rude comments, sometimes abuse, but then you have every right to pursue charges and fight the abuse and discrimination. But not in Chechnya. Islam is the predominant religion in Chechnya, practiced by 95% of those polled in 2010. So it's no wonder that in Chechnya, you can be beaten up violently, killed or thrown in jail for being gay. The status quo has to stay at any cost. Nobody is allowed to be gay or to promote homosexuality. But wait, what does that even mean, promote homosexuality? It's such a stupid thing to say. Nobody is promoting it. We just want equal rights for our LGBT brothers and sisters in humanity. That's all. Religious groups get exceptional, special privileges, tax exemption, and even government funding to spread their anti-gay hatred. They straight up promote their crap. LGBT individuals just want to live their lives the same way as anyone else. Just existing can be a problem. Since 2017, there have been reported kidnappings and purges of gay men from Chechnya. Even men who escaped Chechnya and went to Russia were kidnapped and sent back, probably with support of the Russian government. Recently, two men aged 17 and 20, that's right, just two young men who barely even began their lives, Salik Magomedov and Ismail Isayev, were abducted from Moscow last Thursday and have now disappeared. These two men were captured and were forced to apologize on video. <laughs> Magadamov said, I'm not a man, I'm an empty space. In another, Isayev asked for forgiveness for behaving in an unmanly way. Nobody knows what will happen to them now. Most of us would never have to go through what these young men went through. But we can still have empathy for them. We can put ourselves in their shoes and understand why this is awful. We should continue to fight for LGBT rights and fight the root cause of these harmful ideas, which is conservative values coming from the Christian and Islamic teachings. American Muslims have shown us that change is possible. A 2017 Pew study stated that 52% of American Muslims now agree with the statement, homosexuality should be accepted by society, nearly double the number of those polled a decade ago. We can do this. Those of you who are LGBT and living in Chechnya under fear, be strong. Change will come. It'll take time, but we will continue to speak on your behalf. Don't forget to write a comment in support of Chechnyan LGBT and atheists and like the video. This is your friendly ex-Muslim signing out.